Hey guys, it's the Tactical Sand. We're coming back to you guys. Uh, just got home from MEPS, um, dealing with stuff like that. But I got home, ABKT replacement knife is back. Uh, many of you know that I was unsatisfied with the last uh, Saber neck knife they sent me. So I contacted them, told them my disappointment. I said, guys, this is, this is a kind of a embarrassing to me for you guys to send me a product like that that the practicality of it or what I refer to as the functionality of the blade doesn't fit what it's designed for um, it's designed to be a neck knife uh, I touched up on it in the other video uh, I t I'll touch up on this but while I got you guys attention Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I've seen I got a lot of views in that last tag pack, and a lot of you guys didn't subscribe. I had I have over 729 views in that in that uh, last video, and none of you guys subscribed. Uh, I'd love to change that, guys. But the way I can change the way I do these videos is if you subscribe and you actually put some input into those comment section, guys. Um, it's the only way this channel can get better. So, like I said, go ahead, go to the subscribe, hit the subscribe button. While you're there, hit the bell icon so you can get the next videos I got coming out. Uh, I have a video coming out with RMB Tactical, or yeah, RMB Tactical Tooling. They sent me two lower receivers, a jig, and uh, the uh, tooling kit, which includes all your drill bits, your end mill bits. Uh, they sent me all that stuff. It's in. So we're starting the build, guys. We're starting the AR-15 build. I can't wait. But I need you guys to subscribe so you can see those videos, else you're going to miss out. But back to the subject at hand. I just opened up the little bag they sent me. I mean, this was the, I'm sorry, I'll send you this package uh, deal. Y'all know how I feel about this. Little bag, uh, bubble wrap bag, decent, but I still prefer the no room to shift at all. So without further ado, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, open this back up the rest of the way. As you can see, ABKT Tactical Weapons. So, here we go. And that ABKT stands for American Buffalo uh, Knife and Tool Company. Now, on the last video, I did a little bit of in-depth on this sheath. This sheath is a... Uh, it's an injection molded sheath it's not kydex a lot of you are making the, the bad bad mistake of saying that this is kydex this is not kydex kydex is a heat it's a heat treated uh, plastic that's how they mold it to the shape of the knife but with injection molding they don't do that what they do is they end up molding this sheath separately so when they do that the problem is that this knife is not inside of this sheath when you're injecting injection molding it so that leaves you with the problem of the fact that this sheath could possibly mold to be too small for this knife so that when they put this knife in it it will not come out and I can already see something that upsets me this knife has some issues like it's been worked over and that it's got a couple like scrapes in it in the sheath I'm not fond of that you guys can obviously obviously see that there is some uh, scratches in the sheathing and that does not make me happy one bit also in the last video I gave the description of this chain and I talked to one of my cousins who is a very very uh, gun, uh, gun and knife enthusiast he, uh, he was telling me that these chains are designed to break. I don't like that. Only because the practicality of this knife is that this knife is supposed to be worn around your neck. And when you go to pull it, you're literally going to pull down like this. So the problem with that being that chain, if it cannot handle the pull weight of the knife that, it, that is required to pull this knife from its sheath, if it cannot pull that, guess what? Your life then hangs in the balance. It is not a good tactical item. So therefore, um, that's why the last knife I had, I said it was not a good ad for the box of Tac Pack. 
uh, because of the implications that if my life were in jeopardy and I had to rely on this knife alone to save my life because it's hanging around my neck and I'm always carrying it, this knife's not going to do the job because first off, this chain's going to break. And this sheath right here is not good enough to where if I needed to pull this knife out quickly, it wasn't going to do the job. But that's not what this video is about. This video right here is about whether or not ABKT redeemed themselves by sending me another knife. So, without further ado, we're going to try to pull this knife out. And it's a lot better. Easy pull. And as you hear, it snapped back in. Easy pull. Snap back in. Real test. Now, to give a more practical use, I'm going to go ahead and put this around my neck. Just because I want to make sure that this okay so yeah the chain I feel is gonna break but practical use grab a hold of the sheath pull down and it reveals the little blade so ABKT I commend you guys for your good customer service I commend you guys for being quick I literally got a hold of them uh, Christmas uh, day before Christmas Eve and um, they got back with me the same day apologizing saying we're sorry uh, we'll send you another replacement knife and this knife came in uh, yesterday however because I went to MEPS I was unable to do this video yesterday but I was able to do it now so ABKT, you guys have redeemed yourself. However, like I said, I'm not too big of a fan of getting a sheath that's already been worn in. Uh, it's just, it's not a big thing for me. I'd rather have a brand new knife and it be properly worn in already. Or the sheath, the, if, if you're going to do a plastic sheath, that it already be worn in properly. Uh, just because that's the way I am if I'm getting an item from somebody it's got to be ready to go right out the box no issues uh, not been pre previously worn in by somebody it's got to be ready to go I just purchased it wrapping still good around it and everything um, now would I carry this now with me possibly um, it's a good it's a good replacement to the one they originally sent me, but I don't know. I've That last one was just too hard to get out of the sheath. If I had any advice for ABKT, I would say inspect more of these knives before you send them. Uh, one part per million is not enough. You're going to have to inspect a whole lot more. Uh, injection molding, I said it in the last video, I'm going to say it again. Injection molding is not, not good. Uh, you just you have too many controls that just can go out of spec real quickly and then jump right back into spec like a couple shootings later and then you get that, that batch that of bad sheaths and it just it ruins the knife. It ruins the whole experience for a lot of people. Um, this, however... Good job, guys. You've redeemed yourself. Uh, I'm going to try to get some good use out of this. If I... I mean, it might. I might just put it in a camping bag along with a couple other things just because that's where, the way I see real practical use of it because I can't wear this around practical areas. I can't carry this on me while I'm walking about every day. But thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, ABKT team, good job. Uh, to my viewers that were upset with their previous knives with ABKT, I would encourage you, reach out to them. Let them know the situations you're having with your knives. Uh, let them know that an injection molded sheath is not a good sheath. And um, work with them. I'm guaranteeing you they were probably more than willing to go ahead and work with you back. Uh, but yeah, good job, ABKT. Um, the next video I'm going to be posting is going to be a 
MEPS, uh, post MEPS video describing my experience at MEPS today and it, it'll describe a lot of other things that uh, happened. <laughs> it was a very eventful two days to say the least and I'm hoping that you guys are willing to go ahead and subscribe to this channel because you guys don't want to miss a lot of the things I got coming up. Big things, very big things. So you guys won't, don't want to miss that. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, if you liked how ABKT redeemed themselves and uh, go ahead and throw some comments in the comment section below ask whatever questions you want about this or ask any questions about where I'm at in my process with MEPS or in my process with the Air Force uh, I'll be more than glad to help I'll be more than glad to answer any questions you have uh, but until next time this is the tactical saying and we're signing out guys we'll see you later